This video will be a demonstration of genetic algorithm optimization uh, within the Urban Streets module of HCS 2010. And uh, genetic algorithm optimization is also known as full optimization and uh, is not to be confused with uh, quick optimization. So I'll point out both of those features inside of Urban Streets in a moment. So I'll start by just loading a data set, this one uh, Chapter 17 sample uh, sample problem is the one that I'll demonstrate. So uh, once this data set is loaded, uh, you have the option of running uh, two types of optimization. Is one is full optimization, which uses the genetic algorithm. And the second one is uh, quick optimization that uses Transit 7F. So quick optimization is um, runs much faster than uh, genetic algorithm, uh, but it tends to uh, not find the global optimum solution. And it's also not an HCM-based model. It uses the transit macroscopic simulation, uh, which is a different model than the uh, VHCM procedures. So. Uh, uh, full optimization uses the uh, HCM procedures uh, for the underlying engine, and that's what I'll demonstrate right now. So when I click on that button, it loads this uh, uh, so-called optimization dashboard, and I'll start by changing the optimization objective function to overall delay. Now, percent-based free flow speed is what uh, level of service is based on for Chapter 17. But I'm going for this demonstration. I'll go ahead and use overall delay because it's uh, the easiest for most people to understand, and that'll take into account delay on both the major street and the minor street. Uh, so for this example, I'll go ahead and select uh, cycle length optimization with a lower uh, cycle length of 80 seconds. So the optimum cycle length could be 80, 90, or or 100 seconds. And then you have some genetic algorithm settings that not everyone might be familiar with. So to know what settings to use for the genetic algorithm, uh, it helps to read the user's guide, which has a couple paragraphs on how to set those settings. You can also use the uh, dashboard feature for diagnostic messages. And it tells, uh, it, it issues some warning messages if it doesn't think the uh, settings that you're using are going to produce the global optimum solution. So um, uh, it, it would be easy to talk for uh, 10 minutes or more on, on what uh, genetic algorithm settings are the best to use, but for now, I'll just do a quick optimization run with only 45 generations, and I'm going to select a mutation probability of 4%, and that'll allow you to see the optimization process run for a couple of minutes at least. So now that I've chosen my settings, I can now click on the start button. And now this optimization uh, process, uh, I've practiced it earlier and it's gonna last about two or three minutes. And uh, at any time you can uh, click on the stop button if you want to uh, stop or pause the optimization process. And, and the dashboard has the start, stop, resume feature. So you can restart the optimization process at any time. In fact, even after the optimization process is finished, you could again restart optimization if you didn't think it had reached the global optimum solution yet. So now it's uh, it's about a third of the way through the number of generations and the uh, optimum, optimum delay solution is, is down below 23 seconds per vehicle after starting above 28 seconds per vehicle and that's an improvement percentage of 19.7%. Uh, so most of the optimization improvement usually ha happens in the initial generations, and then the, the final generations are usually just involve a little bit of fine tuning of the solution. So um, in order to reach the absolute best solution. So I'll wait a, a few more seconds, and then once this optimization process is complete, you can either cancel the results or you can save the optimized signal timing to the uh, into the data set that you've been working with. So now we can see that 
The optimization process is almost finished. It's almost up to 45 generations. And generation optimum shows the generation in which the uh, best solution was located. So it stopped after 109 seconds. That's almost two minutes. 45 generations, which by default is 450 candidate timing plans. Uh, generation optimum 38 means that uh, seven generations ago the best solution was born. So in all likelihood, you could continue to run optimization and possibly get a little bit better solution. So I'll go ahead and save these results to the data set. And now, uh, if you were to look at these delay results, presumably uh, at each intersection you have delays that were uh, lower than they were originally. And another feature within uh, uh, for genetic algorithm optimization is that you can now plot the percentage improvement over time. So if you choose optimization improvement percentage for flow profiles, you can see that in this 45 generations, most of the improvement occurred uh, in the first five or six generations. And then after that, there was only a few percentage points of improvement after that. So it's possible that this is the global optimum solution, but in order to be real confident about that, it might help to run another 20 or 30 generations just to make sure. So that is uh, full optimization uh, in a nutshell, and it's again the solutions are guaranteed to be 100% HCM compliant because the underlying analysis engine is the uh, HCM procedures. And if we look at the optimized signal timing, we've got some different phase splits than we started with, and we uh, the cycle length is now 80 seconds. It started off as 100 seconds. And the offsets hasn't changed, but let me check intersection number two. Uh, intersection number two has now has an offset of 41 seconds, so presumably that would allow for better uh, platoon progression and uh, lowering the delays even further.